Hey kids, welcome to Unit 3, Lesson 2, Array Elements, Exercise Number 1. We have a What Do You Think This Program Does, and our old friend the painter is back. Let's see what's going on. We're importing the painter class. It looks like we're instantiating a dash painter class, and the object's going to be my dash painter. Looks like it takes one, two, three, four parameters. Those look like X, Y direction and amount of paint. Looks like we have an array. I can tell by these little brackets right here. The array is paint colors. Looks like it is making a new array and it's empty, but it's going to have three elements to it. I have paint colors zero, which is corral. And that's probably setting it to index zero. Paint colors one is pink and paint colors two is orange. So that's probably the position and this is the color. Down here we call move paint a couple of times and a different color. Let's see what this move paint method is. In our class, we're importing painter. We're extending the painter class. So we are getting that X, Y direction and paint we saw over there. We have that method move paint move, and that looks like it's moving forward, painting a color. If it can move forward, it's going to move once. So it looks like it will move, paint a color, and then if it can move again, move. What do I think will happen? Well, I think we are going to create an object at six zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, and zero in the Y. So I think it's going to get created here facing south. And it's going to have five units of paint. I think it's going to do this move paint, which moved and then painted. That means we should move down here and then paint coral, move again. And then we are going to do the paint one. And that has us moving. And then painting pink. Then it looks paint colors one is going to equal gold. And then we are going to do the paint method again, calling one. So it looks like we're going to paint one, which is gold, and then two, which should be that pink. Then it looks paint colors two is going to become thistle. So this will become thistle. And we're painting a thistle one. Well, if you kept track of that, well, that seems like what we should do. So we should be painting some different colors as we move down here. And hopefully my little guess here is right. Well, let's go ahead and run the program and see what happens. And we were pretty close. I counted one, two, three, four, five, six. Should have been zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how we got there. The zero in the Y was a good clue that I didn't pay attention to. And it looks like we got down to our paint here, but we couldn't move and paint anymore. So it stopped. Remember, it says if we can move, move. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is understanding that arrays are immutable and cannot be changed. What that means is we can't change the size, how many elements, we can't increase it or decrease it, nor can we change the data type. But what we can change are the elements inside. Finally, remember how we are reassigning an element of the array. We specify the name of the array. And then inside square brackets, the location of the array we want to change. Most of the rest of this lesson is understanding and using these positions within an array to process information. Hopefully this video helped you understand what array elements are and how they cannot be changed. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.